Introducing the patented ZP3 Positive Displacement Pump. This video is a step-by-step -step illustration of the seal change procedures. It will also highlight the unmatched engineered advantages the ZP series offers. The ZP3, as with the entire ZP series, offers a 304 stainless steel four-way mounting gear case, stainless steel bearing retainers, 17-4 shafts, helical gears, and more. This video illustrates the simple and time-saving process of replacing the single mechanical seals of a ZP3. With the patented front-loading seal design, the ZP3 can be serviced in line without removing any external piping. First, remove the cover nuts. The flat tabs on the top and bottom of the cover allow the use of a soft mallet to assist in removal of the cover. The ZP3 pump comes standard with an encapsulated gasket. The O-ring groove in the cover is notched to make the removal of the gasket simple and to prevent damage. The O-ring groove of the cover is chamfered on the ID to allow maximum cleaning solution to contact the gasket and eliminate areas for product to settle. A torque wrench is then needed to remove the rotor nuts. To loosen, use a plastic dowel to place between the rotor wings to lock in place. There are two O-rings on the nut to prevent product from reaching any dead zones in the shaft bore of the body. The Belleville washer is used to secure the nut and hold the assigned torque. The tree pan of rotors are where the rotating seal faces are located. To add simplicity to seal removal and prevent any damage to the seal, a punch hole has been machined into the rotor hub to allow an Allen wrench to be used to push the seal from the backside of the rotor. Simply push out the seal. If the keys don't come out with the removal of the rotors, you'll need to remove them from the shaft. The inner seal assembly can easily be removed by your fingers or a small pick. The seal assembly consists of stationary seal, O-ring, wave spring, and sleeve. When replacing a seal, it is best to remove the seal sleeve from the bore for proper wave spring installation. The best practice is to insert the wave spring on the bottom of the sleeve behind the stop pin. Then the cutaway portion of the spring fits into the opposite pin. Turn the spring clockwise until it is secure and behind pins. This will also prevent the wave spring from falling out during seal installation. Reinstall the sleeve back into the shaft bore by aligning the pin on the back side of the sleeve to the slot cutaway in the shaft bore of the body. Lubricate the O-ring and place over the seal diameter. Press in the seal by aligning seal pins to notches on the seal. Insert the rotor keys back onto the shafts. Make sure the rounded end of the keys match the same keyway profile on the shafts. Reinstalling the rotating seal, lubricate the outer O-ring and place into the groove on the outer diameter of the seal. Align the notches on the seal to the drive pins of the rotor. Press the seal down, making sure the seal is completely seated. The first rotor going back in the pump should be aligned in the 12 and 6 o'clock position, so there is no interference with the mating rotor. Before installing the rotor nuts, Use food grade never sees on the shaft threads to eliminate the possibility of galling of the nut to the shaft. When torquing the rotors down, use a plastic dowel to lock the rotors in place. It is very important to torque the nuts to factory recommended values. See the chart showing these values by model referenced in foot pounds. Run your finger across the front face to make sure the rotors are seated below the body face. If not, the seals are not aligned properly. When installing the cover O-ring, make sure it is completely seated in the groove. Reinstalling the cover, note the small and large dowel holes on the top and bottom of the cover. Make sure the cover is aligned properly to the small and large body pins. A soft mallet may be needed to get the cover to slide over the dowel pins. Tighten each cover nut evenly until secured to the body. AMCO ZP3 Series Advantages Patented Front Loading Seal Design 3A and E Hedge Approved 304 Stainless Steel Gear Case Full Body Profile Maintains Maximum Efficiency 
stainless steel bearing retainers, 17-4 stainless steel shafts, helical gears, gasketed stainless steel cleanout plugs.